Zero Fossil Fuel, checking in one last time before I call in an evening. Uh, I wanted to show everybody the partially completed electrolyte vessel for the S cell. Take that out there. As you can see, I don't have to hold this quite as close to the camera anymore because it's so much larger. Um, I've gone ahead and sealed up all of the interior seams, smoothed them out with my finger to spread them out, created what resembles a miniature fish aquarium. If you get a look inside here, let's see if we can get a good angle of that, you can see the little pieces of acrylic that I've cut to create standoffs that not only hold it off the floor of the tank but will also but also hold it centered in the tank. I have standoffs on two on each side and one at the end one at each end. So when I take this and set it inside it has about an eighth an inch of movement and that's about it. For the top lid, what I'll probably have to do is get some sort of um, soft PVC like they use for the walk-through refrigerator doors at a, at a supermarket or whatever. I don't know exactly where to get that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look tomorrow and see what I can find. Uh, what, what I envision is gluing it around the edge, cutting one piece, one rectangular piece, and slicing it out. and creating um, a seal, a pliable seal around the top that will simply rest against the top of the tank and perhaps uh, some threaded steel rod assemblies on eight points around the top and the bottom to clamp the whole thing together and seal it, seal it tight so that it doesn't leak. Uh, as you can see the acrylic material for the tank makes it very well suited for getting very nice close-ups of the plate without uh, any obstruction whatsoever. So we should be able to do some nice demos for you online with uh, the experiments that we conduct with this cell. That's it for tonight.